Good morning, boys and girls. I miss you all so much. I haven't seen you in such a long time. But it's wonderful to see all of you. I don't know what you did this week, but I did a lot of stuff. I cooked, I cleaned, I spent some time with God, I called my friends. But Annie Shelley, what about the story? Oh yes, right, the story. Let's get to the story. A long, long time ago, there was a man named Noah. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 7 verse 5 that Noah did all that God commanded him. Do you know what that means? It means that Noah was obedient and whatever God told him to do, he did it. And so our story today is about Noah and how he obeyed God. The people were so wicked. They were mean, they weren't kind to each other, and they didn't love God. But Noah loved God. And so God told Noah, no, I have a special project for you to do for me. Something, I want you to do something special for me. I need you to build me a huge boat. Does anybody know what that boat was called? An ark. An ark. Oh, these are some smart children. It was an ark. And God gave him all of the measurements. He told him how big it was supposed to be, how many windows, how many doors. And he told Noah that he needed him to do something else too. While he built the boat, he also wanted him to preach and tell the people that they were doing wrong, but they needed to get ready. They needed to obey God so that they would not be destroyed. Now, God told Noah, you're building this boat because I'm going to destroy the earth with a flood. Do you know what a flood is? The water rises high like the sea. Yes, you're correct. A flood is something that happens in the weather where it rains and rains and rains and rains when you can't go outside and play. And so Noah began to warn the people about the flood that was coming and that everybody needed to get inside the boat. Noah built on the ark. He got his hammer, he got some nails, and he started building, building every day, doing what God had told him to do. But what do you think those wicked people did? They laughed. <laughs> this man is crazy. Mr. Noah, you need to go get some sleep. You are crazy. A flood? Rain? What's that? Noah continued to preach. He continued to build on that ark. Anyways, the people did not listen. And so Mr. Noah completed that boat. The boat was all ready. And it was time to go inside. So God wanted Noah to bring in some of all of the various animals that he had made. So he told Noah, I want you to bring the animals in. Some of them were gonna come in by seven and some of them were gonna come in by twos. And God told Noah exactly which animals he wanted to bring in, how he wanted them to come in. And so Noah started gathering. Could you imagine Mr. Noah going around and gathering all of the animals? He brought in some dogs. <laughs> he brought in some huge elephants. He brought in some big bear. This one is little, but he brought some big bear. And then he brought in some llamas. He also brought some bunnies came hopping in. Horses. Can you think of some of the animals? A cat. Yes. Yes, wonderful. So the boat was filled with all these animals. Must not have smelled too good either. But Noah was being obedient and doing what God had told him to do. He also told, God also told Mr. Noah to bring his family in. He 
his wife, three sons, and their wives. Mr. Noah really hoped that the people would listen. Once they saw him going into this ark, he really thought that those people would listen. He preached, he had preached to them for 120 years. That's a long time. Well, they continued to laugh. And so Mr. Noah went into the ark. And you know what? It started to rain. Suddenly there were big drops of rain. What is that? What is that? It had started to rain. Everybody started panicking and shaking. We need to get into the ark. But you know what? It was too late. God had already closed the door and they could not get in. So it rained and it rained, and all of the people didn't go into that. They died. But Mr. Noah and his family and all the animals were safe inside the ark. God protected them. The ark sailed for 40 days and 40 nights. After 40 days and 40 nights, I guess they were all very tired of being there with those animals, but they knew that God was with him because he promised that he would always be with us. And even when we can't understand why God is asking us to do things, we should be obedient. When our parents ask us to do things, we should be obedient. We should follow their instructions. And so Noah and his wife and their children were all saved in the ark. After the flood had ended and the water dried up, God allowed Noah and his family and all the animals to come out of the ark. The earth was new and beautiful. I want you to remember, boys and girls, we should be obedient, no matter how hard it seems, because God always takes care of us in the end. I want a boy or girl to pray for me. Who wants to pray? Dear Jesus, thank you for always protecting us. Help us to always be obedient and to trust you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you next time.